I don't know, everyone. So on this week's article, um, forum post, sorry about that. Um, I found an article that was written in Australia by Australian Sport, specifically that was published by The Guardian, and it speaks about the uncertainty um, that Australia is facing in terms of its community sports, as it's flagged as a really big issue for the country. And it goes on to talk about how there was a drop in participation rates, club closures, and further financial hardships, uh, which were just, you know, some of the very few challenges that community sports were facing as millions of Australians prepared to actually return to training because of COVID. Um, it also goes on to mention how uh, there was a nationwide survey where 500 clubs took this survey and although most of them um, assume that competition will resume, clubs do suffer um, finding training facilities because they are still closed down and are suffering from lack of funding with experiencing the same operating costs. Uh, the article also further goes on to mention how that with the return of sports such as the national rugby league or Australian football league, which is soccer in the sense. Um, there has been a lot of issues with mental health for the average Australian because sports is a way of clearing the mind and for others it's a necessity in life. And the article goes on to mention that the Australian National Cabinet has identified the resumption of community sports as a key driver in the fight against mental health crisis that was brought by COVID at the time. And just bear in mind that this was written in 2020 of May. So this is basically when um, lockdown was going on. And it speaks, the article goes on further later on to mention how um, the cabinet wants to build a case to raise funds and inject these funds into community sport. And because without these clubs and social cohesion inclusion, you know, physical and mental health will decline. And that it really isn't great. And this has been a big issue for Australians, especially in the fact that, you know, if families are struggling to send the children to these community centers where they have to pay membership fees and these fees are needed to keep the um, community centers open, which is a necessity because of having to find ways to keep it all operational. There is an issue of whether these centers are even gonna be able to open up when uh, lockdown is, lockdown restrictions have been um, removed. So it's just something to think about how the importance of community centers just for mental health and how it affected everybody during COVID. Thank you.